Hi friends, welcome to my garden. In just a couple of days, we will have this place completely turned around. So I thought it would be fun to give you a before tour. Follow me. <laughs> okay. First in stores, our pride and joy, Camellia. Then here we have a lovely summer house to relax in. We don't go there because the spiders that live here are that big that they claim to this territory. This is our gorgeous manicured lawn. With lots of fun decorations that totally make sense. Our incredible arch. It's a gate to the greenhouse where nothing is growing. And the only thing that is actually useful, the garden tool shed. We don't actually know how to use any of these. Moving on, we have a very fun hill to climb and lay down on because it's full of nettle. And also holes to break your legs. Here we have the state-of-the-art fencing job. Would you look at this craftsmanship? Moving on, we have our beautiful rosarium, full of weeds. And here we have our fruit patch, starting with this gorgeous apple tree that produces apples so big that if one falls on your head, it will probably kill you. Moving on, we have a plum, some pears, some blueberries, more pears that are all infected by fungus. Also want to show off the beautiful job that I've done last summer. Here we have something that is actually nice and alive. Following our gorgeous pathway that is nice and clean and beautiful, we have our patio. Currently we're using it for spray painting. Here we have some cute bonsai style bush arrangement with a nice uh, stone decoration on top. Always need some stones. Our barbecue area, a wheelbarrow full of water because you, you just need that, save water. Garden holes because every garden has one of those. And that's our garage that is falling apart a little bit, but at some point we'll get to it. We don't know what this is. Now let's go back to the back and I will show you something else exciting. These gorgeous raised beds, unknown. This is a home to the pain of our existence. Blackberry. Oh, seriously, let me go. Here we have some actually nice trees and lots of trash. I hope you enjoyed this incredible garden tour. <laughs> Jokes aside, we really should get going and clear it out to get ready for the works to start. So let's go change and do that. And so we did. Over the next couple of days, we cleared the garden of all the things that would get in the way or those we wanted to keep. This garden tour was quite sarcastic because of the state of it, but it wasn't always like that. The garden wasn't exactly what we wanted, but it had great potential. And it used to be quite pretty too when we got the house. We made some wonderful memories in the old garden. The first time the dogs got to run around. Bat watching after sunset, first snow in our new home, and many more. We let it get very overgrown in our first year here because we didn't have time to take care for it. We were way too busy with home renovations. Despite that, we believed that we could do all the changes in the garden ourselves. But after a lot of hard work that didn't get us anywhere near where we wanted to be with the garden, we came to a conclusion that we can't do it on our own. Also, we had 
absolutely no idea what we were doing because neither of us ever had a garden to take care of before. So eventually we made the decision to hire a gardening company to take over this huge project. We waited almost a year for that and in the meantime we completely let go of the garden. My husband and I filmed this tour when it was at its worst. We had big plans for our garden, and I will talk to you all about it in the next Creating the Enchanted Garden episode. To achieve our dreams, we basically had to start from scratch. And just like that, the old garden was completely destroyed. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. I hope you had a few laughs. But before I end this video, I want to have a little chat. Ever since we got this house and started renovating it, I have been filming everything and saving all of those videos to post at some point when everything is 100% complete. After almost three years in, I have realized that it will probably take us years to get to this point. We don't have all the furniture or all the decor that we want and some rooms are still not finished. So I just want to start posting those renovation, design and decoration videos even though nothing is 100% complete. And in all honesty, I'm not sure that I will ever get to this point because I have so many ideas and so many projects that I still want to do. So please, kindly let me know what would you like to see first? Maybe a certain room or a pre-renovation house tour? I would love to hear your suggestions. Thank you so much, my dear friends, for your patience and for sticking around. I shall see you soon.